looks the talk of the town today, and rightly so. They wiped the floor with the top flight team in the last quarter of a pulsating cup tie. Tommy Mooney got the first of three tremendous goals. Then in the last minute of normal time, they leveled the match with a second. There was total panic in the city defence, and Darren Foreman punished them by getting on the end of the loose ball. Jubilation all round, and manager Ray McHale urged his side to go for a winner, even though extra time looked on the cards. Then three minutes into injury time, their pressure paid off. Lee Hurst headed them into the third round. The celebrations began with the final whistle, and there was no way back for Coventry. Now the town's expecting big things. I think uh, they've got some good players down there, and uh, certainly isn't a one-off. I think if they keep it together, keep the players they've got, uh, they'll do well throughout the whole season. There's no reason why they shouldn't go a bit further. And the further they go, the more money they make, and hopefully they can bring in a couple of players. The players they have got celebrated in style last night as the champagne corks were popped in the Scarborough dressing room after the game. It's their biggest achievement for three years when they knocked Chelsea out of the same competition. Excellent performance from the lads. We all knew uh, that we had the confidence to do it. And 0-0 uh, at half-time, I think a lot of people would have thought, well, they've run out of time now. But we still had the confidence to come through and the lads have got the result that they deserved. Now they travel to Plymouth to do a repeat performance. Lovely jubbly. Well, congratulations to everyone at Scarborough. It's the same message to our special guest.